Tomahawk TV News presents The Barn, the election of 2016. Nocona source for information. Hello, Nocona, and welcome back to Tomahawk Election HQ. Uh, while I was gone, the community had their public forum where they got to ask questions and they got explained a tremendous amount of information that they needed to know. Here is this week's highlights from it. Would you go back? Uh, I believe that you showed there that the home values would not be raised. I believe that's what it said. What you really meant was the tax would not be raised. The tax, yeah. That, that's true. That's a good clarification. Oh, because my question is, if the state says we ain't got enough money, do they not come back and tell the system you've got to raise the values, you've got to get the money somewhere? Is that, no. is the that the um, comptroller is the one in the appraisal district, is the one, and there's a set of guidelines that they follow when they appraise property. And what the state does is there is a target revenue that there is a minimum amount of money that is targeted for all schools. <coughs> and currently, if you were to look at the amount of taxes that come into Nakona, 24 cents out of every dollar to operate this school system comes from the taxpayers. 76 cents comes from the state. So the poorer the community is, the more money that the state sends in. So if the values went down, there would be a more of a contribution from the state. Yeah. In any of the property that you own, whether it's land or business or house, it will be taxed. If that property is within the district, within the school district. Any other questions? Mr. Yes, sir. Who's going to pay for the utilities? In the roads going to the high school. Is that going to be able to leave this $15 million bond? No. No, the purchase of the land and if you get the utilities, the utilities work with Texas uh, Power New Mexico and actually have um, a quote for them to bring electricity up to the building for $25,000. They're giving us about a 75% rate. The gas from Atlas, talk to them. They're not going to charge us anything. Working with the city, there's a, a water line. Uh, it's running behind the big company, so. In its water line. In the sewer. In the sewer. They're going to extend those. And that's one of the first things we look at because how much money we need to raise to build that building depended on the site. <coughs> Different sites cost more to prepare. But. At this point, we're wanting to continue to use the buildings we've got. You know, we don't want to throw them away. We don't want to add a bunch more money, to add a second story, and then bulldoze these down. You know, we can use these buildings for many more years, man. You know, that's, that's my thought. Your question, uh, it's a multi-purpose not only I don't, know, you know, I don't know if you know, 20 years from now, uh, it, it goes back to what Dr. Zingo was saying is, why did you only buy 50 acres when you need 100? It has the capacity to seat everyone, but there has absolutely been no plans or discussion to close the campus. So that was some of the highlights from last week's forum, but the good thing is that there's still going to be another one on April 21st for anybody in the community that wants to ask questions. So make sure you be there if you have anything you want to ask. And I'll see you next week on Tomahawk Election HQ. Tomahawk TV News, Montague County's only newscast, coming at you from Nocona High School.